Buongiorno a tutti. I want to tell you I'm falling in love with the Balkans already. Yesterday, after a very intense drive from Shenzhen, I arrived pretty tired at my accommodation place, an eco rural guest house in the village of Rabdisht, close to Peshkopi town. But it took just a short while before Miss Festa and Mr. Sabrio changed my mood and changed my entire experience in the northeastern Albania. I'll come back to them in a minute. First, let me tell you what draws me in this alpine region. Mount Korab is the highest summit not only in Albania but also in North Macedonia. Situated on the border of these two countries, the imposing peak rises at an altitude of 2,764 meters or 9,068 feet. I plan to summit the peak to have one foot in one country and the other in another. The starting point will be the mesmerizing village Radomire. But let's start from beginning. My drive from Shenzhen towards Peshkopi started nicely near the Shkopet lake, but it wasn't long until the road got very bad, many potholes, poor quality or even no asphalt segments. On the contrary, the nature was beautiful and the sky offered me marvelous views when I was able to look up from the tricky road. From Peshkopi to Rabdisht was no asphalt at all. The dark came and I was really worried my car won't make it in one piece. But it did. And the great news is following Guesthouse Sabriu on Instagram, I noticed the road is already being asphalted. Festa and Sabri welcomed me warmly, showed me my clean and tidy room, and then offered me a most wonderful, tasty and traditional dinner. What's here? Fasule. Fasule. Check up, Paco. Because they don't speak English very well and I don't speak Albanian, we practiced our Italian, we had fun, we had Kataif dessert and I'm now ready for the next day epic climb. A good night's sleep, a traditional delicious breakfast, two fresh apples from Mr. Sabrio, and I'm on my way for the highest peak of two countries. Driving towards Radomire, and not only, I was very amazed to see so many cars 
on the Albanian roads are Mercedes. So I searched the internet why. And here's the facts. An impressive 40% of all the cars in Albania are Mercedes. When the borders opened after the isolation period of Albania, the locals tried different types of cars and discovered for themselves that Mercedes is apparently the most appropriate car for the given road conditions and lasted quite long since broken parts could easily be replaced by parts from other Mercedes. Trail plan for today is a 20.5 km loop starting and ending in Radomire. I will run it counterclockwise and with a very briefly incursion on North Macedonian Pass. Being the end of September, the sheep flocks are going down from the mountain. Starting from 1400 meters altitude, I'm now at 1800. It's going well. Not very steep, but steady climb. Weather is perfect. We're getting there. In the Carpathians, this flower is called the Queen of the Night. And we were very happy as children when we found one. But I see here an entire field of it. <laughs> Beautiful. Today is the last day of September, a day with perfect weather, absolutely genius. This is the main trail leading to the Korab peak and still I have met no other hiker climbing the peak until now.
because my camera has some issues and cannot catch the sound every time. I was trying to say that that way is Albania, one country, the other way, North Macedonia, the second country. And I'm walking on the border with Korab getting very close now. Kilometer nine, you have this uh, very nice water source, mountain spring, cold and fresh. After 15 minutes in North Macedonia, I am saying goodbye and go back to Albania.
Back to Sabrio guest house, after a perfect day, Festa and two friends were sorting beans. <music> Baba the cat was sitting with us at the table and the little kitten was a bit more shy. <laughs> this dinner was an absolute feast with traditional Albanian food and not only, and it was really the best dinner ever. I cannot describe in words the charm, the warmth that surrounded me, the family-like feelings, the kindness, the authenticity, and the hospitality. I am extremely grateful for everything, and I will never forget these beautiful people and the time I spent in Rabdisht. And the pomodori cipolla qua. Yes. Uh, this? This qua? Uh, carne. Carne con, con uh, yogurt. 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 Mm -hmm. What carne? What animal? Yogurt. Uova. Is the same? Yogurt. Huh? The sheep? Yes. Sheep. Mm -hmm. Looks hey. perfect. <laughs> <laughs> above me. Above me. Like this I like. Uh, Where's the G's? G's or formaggio? Mm -hmm. This was my amazing adventure in the high mountains of Albania. Of course nature is highly important in my adventure travels, but many times the people I met are equally important. And Mrs. and Mr. Shahini were so delightful that they made my stay here a super special one and a pretty unique one. I invite you to visit them as well and to taste the absolutely gorgeous and genius food they cook. I put all the details in uh, the description of this video. I am sure I will come back as well and probably I will bring a group of friends. I want to say again Falem and Derit for everything. And uh, guys please subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. Drop me a like to support my journey and see you in the next one.